check, check it, dude. Check oh, it, God, shut the fuck up. Hi, I'm Zary Morgan. This is podcast number 31 now. I got with me today. Shane Thompson. The infamous Shane Thompson, the fucking badass of motherfuckers. No, he's not. He's, he's the big pussy of our fucking. Oh, fuck you, man. Okay, um. Fucking so, smash you, cunt. I know this is my last podcast, the new series I want to do about Tim's life and the events that he happens when he goes through, a, you know, a life like he has, many different experiences. I was talking really fast, so I actually slowed down the audio so you can actually understand it better. Which I reckon, like, in the, in the process, I was like, this is so stupid, this won't work. Yeah, but if you talk really fast, I mean, you can get, like, a job doing government ads. Yeah, you know, like those people who go, LP camera, at the end of an ad. Oh, yeah, like the, you know, this is one LP camera. What? No, no, no. That's, that's the Australian government. Now, Shane, he's really big with the Australian government. He hates it, doesn't like it. Um, well, let's see. I, I don't exactly hate the Australian government. I just do not like Labor in any way. Their, their policies, it's pretty much just fuck up the country until all the money's gone. Then we'll get a loan for China and put us in billions of dollars of debt, which we will be paying off in the next, I don't know, 40 years. Well, I guess, but again, like, Shane's the type of guy that if you, like, say, if his opinion is, like, who do you go for, Labour or the other one? What's the other one called again? Liberal. Um, liberal, that's it. And if you go, oh, okay, Shane, I understand what you're asking me. I go for Labour. He snaps and yells at you. I don't snap and yell yes, at you. Yes, he does. I, I just say, well, <laughs> I'll just tell you what Labour does and tell you that, you know, they're, they're assholes, pretty much. You know, that it's just spend, spend, spend. I'm, and, I mean, Julie Gillard used to be a member of the Communist Party. Well... What do you mean the Communist Party? The Communist Party. We have a Communist Party? Yeah, like we have a Labour Party and we have a Liberal Party. We have a Greens Party. We also have a Communist Party. It's sort of an underground party, but they're, they're still there and she used to be a member. You know, they're, it, and when they rise to power, they want to pretty much oh, yeah. make us like China. You know, okay. Filter the internet, uh, make us do like our own little small world and take away our rights to be fucking millionaires. I understand that. So um, I have a cousin, right? And... He's one of those cousins that keep asking you repeatedly the same thing. Like, he, he kept asking me, he's like, how do you buy Minecraft offline? I'm like, well, you get a debit card, you you know, you type the numbers, you post it blind. He's like, oh, okay, come back in 15 minutes, like, 15 minutes later and do that. You know what I mean, Shane? Hmm. So I told him this one simple thing. I'm like, get the $15 you need. He's like, how do you get that? I'm like, you get you get a job. And put it into the disc tray. Hey man, how old is this kid? Oh, he's like nine. Uh, <laughs> nine-year-olds can't get debit cards, man. I know, but like it's, an age limit. I know, but this is annoying. He's trying to explain to him. So I'm like, get your money, put it into the disk drive, and slide it into the laptop, <laughs> and then click on Minecraft. He's like, there you did it. I'm like, yes, there you do it. But the so reason, he actually did it? No, he didn't do it yet. He doesn't, he doesn't have 15 bucks, but the reason, I know that we, <laughs> the reason I know he believed me, because last week he asked me if two guys could have a baby. <laughs> He's right. I'm like, I'm like talking, we're talking about gay guys. Like, you know, they can't have babies. He's like, yeah, they can. They can have a baby. I'm like, no, they can't. Maybe if they go to Syria. Yeah. Uh, of course, surrogacy is illegal in Queensland. Isn't it? Why is that? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. The, the rule doesn't make any sense. No, I think it's just legal. Well, the... explain surrogates to I our think stupid it... of viewers. Okay, to our stupid of viewers. Uh, surrogates are pretty much um, women who who carry somebody else's child. Like uh, they they get the genetic material from both the man and the woman, put it into a petri disc uh, dish, and then implant it into uh, into this woman and she Is it actually a, a petri dish? Woman. Well, not really a petri dish. But, like, I like to see uh, that. But yeah, they're called <laughs> test tube babies. I would like to see that. It's like, you know, hey, they just like, you know, you can make your own baby at home. And you like, you know, grab a petri dish off the shelf, grab a fucking, you know. The home surrogacy kit. <laughs> for ages 12 and up. <laughs> oh, God, that would be terrible. Oh, I don't know. We should be thinking them that. Uh, oh, no, keep it in. That's funny. Oh yeah, I guess like, we, we we need to start our own item to sell. Like you know, everybody sells shirts. Let's sell mittens. No, let's sell surrogacy kits. I guess yeah, just fucking you know, you know. Can you not have a baby with your best friend? Well, surrogacy kit just need it. It's like yeah, you know, surrogacy donut included. Oh, yeah, the reason why I think that they actually illegalize surrogacy in Queensland is so uh, women can't just rent out their wounds willy nilly. To yeah, because you get anyone. yeah, you get paid for it yeah. in Australia. When you have a baby, you get paid for it. You get also like, also there's the bloody physical strain of it on on the woman. You know, uh, also there could be complications, and you know people could sue afterwards. And yeah, it's we don't live in America where you sue after anything. People sue in Australia. Shane, I want to hear your best Australian accent. 
I'm doing it right now. It comes naturally, mate. No, but I want to hear you overdo your Australian accent. Alright, um, g'day, mate. Hi, crikey. Want to go to the pub, mate? Call that a knife. Mate, nah, get some, a knife. Get some bloody shearers. Nah, get some bloody, oh, uh, God, bloody alcohol into them. That's... Now, I don't say Sheila that often because I think that it sounds stupid. Yes, I agree. Sheila's like, it means like it's a she. It just means she. But uh, my uncle all the time is like, oh, how the Sheila's gone. I'm like, oh, God, that's such a stupid oh, word. Please do not say that. Do not. Don't even look at me. Why? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was pretending to be you. But yeah. Oh, anyway, thank um, you. Uh, you know, it's funny. My, my brother actually found a. Uh, oh, he has this um, book of Australian slang. That he had in his room, and uh, and he was reading uh, reading out some of them to me. And I was just like, I've never even heard of most of these. <laughs> like one of them for pretty much describing a bludger, you know, somebody who's lazy and doesn't do his job properly, is uh, saying he couldn't pull a greasy stick out of a dead uh, out of a dead. Go- ah, you can edit that, right? No, I'm just going. It's the case. Oh yeah, yeah. Th- this is this he is couldn't... uncut. Nah, he couldn't pull a greasy stick out of a dead dog's ass. <laughs> Pretty much a way of saying that he's incompetent. For a start, <laughs> it you, doesn't you, make any like, sense. If, if my dog died by sitting on a stick, I don't know. And what? How? Why was the stick greasy? This is. It just makes me wonder where these things come from. I mean, did somebody go? Oh, there's a dead dog. I think I might put a stick in its ass. <laughs> and he pulls it out. It's just like, oh, it's all greasy. I think, I, know, I think you're saying that... You, that you're... bloke over there, he's fucking incompetent at his job. I think I might say he couldn't pull a greasy stick out of a dead dog's ass. But no, You but, know what? That could catch on. No, but the way it works is, like, say greasy is, like, you know, it's just lubed. It's lubed. So it'd be easier to pull lubed a stick out of a dead dog's <sighs> ass. Try not to think <laughs> about it in depth, but it'd be easy. Uh, you'd think that it wouldn't be greasy. You'd think that it'd be covered in shit or something. Greasy shit, I don't know. Uh, they, they fed the dog lots the real, of greasy the real, the real food. Question, Shane, the real question: Has this ever happened to you? What? Somebody saying that I couldn't pull a greasy no, stick out of do it. What? Have you ever had to do it? What? Don't worry, you ruined. Have I ever done what? Ever had to pull a stick out of a dead dog? No, dog. I've never had to pull a stick out of a dead dog's ass. The opportunity has never presented itself. <laughs> oh, so Shane, you playing new video games lately? Uh, not lately, man. I've yeah, just been working, coming home, drinking, watching movies, and yeah, going to sleep. Interesting. What about your work? Has anything exciting happened at your work lately? Not lately. Although I did have this really interesting customer the other day. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this bloke, this stoner bloke, he had dreadlocks, he was skinny as, he, uh, he looked a little bit like Jack Sparrow. He, he came in and he... I was wondering how to get to the water tower. Oh, and yeah. I said, oh, yeah, mate. You uh, you see those traffic lights over there? He said, yeah. You can just go straight through those. You keep going. And, yeah, it's just a straight shot. It's just on your left. So what and he says, th- yeah, um, which street do I take, though? I said, this you street? take the street where you have to go through the traffic lights. You can't miss it. And he said, well, it might be obvious for you because you live here but it's not that obvious to me man I, I only just got here and just like okay listen very carefully you go out through that way you go through the traffic lights and you go down the road and he said which road <laughs> I think there's only one road with oh, traffic lights you stupid fucking the thing is like, he goes ah oh, sorry man I'm tripping on ass and anyway I got to the point where we actually had to take him outside and show him which road and there was only one road with fucking traffic lights on it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's better than getting someone bad directions. Like, I've given some guy, I'll be like, he'd be like, which way to Woolworths? And he'd be like, it's that way. And I'd be like, wait a second. It's that way, but I don't look like an idiot. It's in both directions now. Oh, hey, yeah, it's just <laughs> too. I don't even look like an idiot, so I was just like, it's that way. <laughs> He's like, you should. I'm like, I'm absolutely positive. There's, there's one thing. I am not a liar. <laughs> Even though I was giving him wrong directions, like I didn't, I didn't want to stay halfway between. <laughs> it's not my fault that you went to the police station instead of the supermarket. <laughs> so did you find out why this guy wanted to go to the water tower? 
uh, he he left his van at the water tower. And he had to get to Mackay in uh, within five hours. And for you people who aren't like to the area, it's um uh, Mackay. It's a mining town about six hours away from ours. I thought it was like four. Uh, more like six, five or six, give or take. Oh yeah. But yeah. Fuck that. But, uh, this bloke was tripping on acid too. I mean, he'd be sober up before he hit the road. Hmm. You might um, see a kangaroo and think that's a magic, uh, magical unicorn and <laughs> chase it through the fucking scrub. Um, now, I was talking about this story about you, Shane. Apparently, this, I'm not sure if it happened or not. Apparently, you had a phone which was waterproof and you were looking at it and you're like, oh, cool. And you were trying to, you know, be funny and you recorded yourself. It's a, it's a camera, sorry. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, my phone's so cool. And you drop in the pool. You're like, oh, shit. And it went down and hit the bottom of the pool and, like, broke from the shock. I think it was, even though the water didn't damage it, it like broke from the shock. That never happened. Oh, I thought it did. I heard someone tell me all that. That never happened. I, admit, what I did do is I got, I got a waterproof camera. It was waterproof, shockproof. It was one of those, uh, I forget what brand. But yeah, it, it was a tough camera. And I chucked, I was just like, hey, watch this. When I was recording, I chucked it into the pool, hit the bottom. I jumped into the pool. I got it out. And then I filmed it towards my face. And it's just like... Then it stops recording. You know, winked at the oh, camera and well, stopped recording. You know, it would be a more clever. It would be like a so funny story if you were just like, yeah, it's so waterproof. Ruined the pool, hits the bottom, and it just breaks because of the shock. Even though it was waterproof. I reckon that would be a funnier story. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be a funnier story, but yeah, it's not what happened. I guess. Yeah. Oh, you can always stretch the truth a bit. Um, you know, make this more of an interesting podcast, but whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of people stretching the truth. You know how many rumors have been spread around this town about me? How many? I don't know. I've heard a few. What are they? Give us some hints. Uh, rumors like oh, I'm a thief. I steal food. I, I, I'm incompetent at work. I, I'm rude to pretty much everyone, which I'm not. But yeah, all these really horrible uh, rumors that make me unemployable. Rumors. Yeah, that sounds really stupid. Um, so Shane, you told me earlier you had an interesting driving story, so fill us into that. Interesting driving story? Hmm. <laughs> I think we need to do the interesting driving story theme song. <laughs> interesting driving stories. That was really crap. We should cut that out. No, you already, you, <laughs> I was happy not having interesting driving theme song. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll fix go. that up later. Anyway. All right. Uh, it was me, uh, me, Jerem, Kyle, and and Rangel. What's his name? Rowan. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah. Uh, I drove. I decided I was showing off my car. I only got it the week before, and we. I decided to show it off. You know, drive around the back roads. You know, test how fast you can go. Yeah. And uh, Rowan, uh, Rowan realizes that there's uh, there's a hatch in the back seat, behind the cup holder, that allows you access to the boot. And he says, "Hey, you can re- uh, you can reach into the boot from here. Hey, can I have a ride in the boot?" And then I'm just like, "God, uh, yeah, sure, so, I guess." I'm gonna play this. So Rowan's like, "This is Shane." Um, can I ride in the boot, Shane? <laughs> and now yeah. Shane, being you know like the clever, witty genius he is, he's just like, "Yeah, Rowan, get in the boot. Get in the fucking boot, man. Get in the boot." <laughs> and then, anyway, he's in the boot, and then I start driving. Going full speed and I was swerving all over the road. He was going left and right in the boot, rolling all over the place. <laughs> it's just like, please stop that. And I was just like, yeah, sorry, man. So I took it steady for a little while, made sure that I was out in the middle of nowhere. And I took him out of the boot and shot him in the face. You shot him in the face? Nah, I'm only joking. All right, this is what really happened. I'm just like, hey, Rowan, get out of the boot. So I opened the boot for him. And I'm just like, hang on, mate, make sure that you close the boot. Uh, and make sure that it was behind the car when he did. And then, uh, and then, as he closed the boot, I just took off. <laughs> yeah, I pedaled to the floor, I just took off, yeah. like, blowed up the road. Yeah, like, see, that's, like, that's um, funny. But... Yeah, we, we should probably go back for him. But we have this one friend, who we're not going to say his name, because we can't say his name as much in this podcast. So, yeah, like, um, we had this one friend who, every time you could hop in the car, he will lock the doors, he will drive off. Every time now, you think it's funny the very first like two times, like, ha, oh, lol, this guy's a comedian. Hey, After that, describe him to me. Who is this? Really guy? fat. Ah, oh, yeah, I know who you're fucking talking about. Um, you fucking bastard. <laughs> but you, he's Sorry, not. Sorry, I was swearing that. You, you've seen it, right? Haven't you? Like, yeah. You'll fucking lock the doors or drive off. He does it 
He does it too All often. It's, the time. It's, at first it was funny, now it's just annoying. Now it's like, you jump back, I'm going to smash your window when you do come back. <laughs> uh, so, in April, the show is coming up. I hope everyone's going to go and have a golly good time at the show. A golly good time? A golly good time. That's golly good time. It's some Australian slang for you. Yeah, bucket. bullshit. Grease, you can't even pull a grease up stick out of a dog's ass. Nah, that's bullshit. That's <laughs> golly. But, uh, says golly. <laughs> Maybe in Bollywood. You know? well, well, minor roller's pain is to go there and get the cheap gobbies, 20 bucks. No, <coughs> the 10 packs of cheap gobbies. Um... <laughs> I like it. That was pretty funny. Yeah, gullies. That's what we call hookers in this yeah, town. Gullies. Yeah. You can get them in ten packs. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you use up one, you know, you just use another one. It's pretty. It's pretty simple method. But um, yeah. so every time they're sanitary too because they're disposable. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you can just chew them in the face. Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough of that. So um, just oh god, you're only thinking about shooting hookers now. Um, so. There's always this one person that goes there, and he's like the cunningest cunt, cunt that the cunt was. You mean most people in this town? No, the show, <laughs> he's one of the show guys, and what he does is he tricks you into, because that is, you have to get a ball into the bucket, but there's a bunch of springs in the bucket. He, oh, wait, it's not knobby knee bloke, is it? No, I'm not that is. Uh, he's got, uh, there's this one old bloke, he's got knobby knees, uh, he, uh, they reckon so he got them in a street fight at one point, and he, um, yeah, he, uh, he has this, like, ball toss game. Although they're soft balls, and you just know that there's a ball bearing in that ball just off centre, so it'll swing out the other way. No, I'm talking about when you get the balls into the bucket, and there's like springs in the bucket, so when you throw them in there, they bounce back out. Uh, and now he'll be like this so he'll go like, three balls for seven bucks. And you know, the smart guy I am, I'm like, well, I could totally win something. This is simple. So I'll throw two in there, and I'll miss both. And he'd be like, okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll give you five more balls for five bucks. And now me, the smart guy, thinking, well, I missed two already. What's the chance of them missing more? And I miss all of them. And he's like, no, no, no. I'll make you a deal. Three dollars for five more balls. And I'll miss them again. And I'll just be like, you know, what can't you do with all my money? But this year, I have a plan. You have a system. I have a plan. This man has a system. I'm going to go up to it. I'm going to be like, okay, give me all the balls you have. He's a hundred bucks. And you'll get that. And I'll fucking just leg it. I'll take all the balls so no one else loses their yeah, money. Yeah, you'll be at a hundred bucks. Yeah, but I'll be the town hero. But you'll be out a hundred bucks. It'll be worth it. Down here it comes. It's like half your mates in one night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully not. Maybe, maybe, maybe hopefully it doesn't cost a hundred bucks. <coughs> that was a cough. <sighs> so what else has been happening lately? So the show is that's always good. Um, tell me a previous show story. Shane, you must have something you've previous done. Previous show story. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, there was a time that I got a big hat and then somebody stole it. A what? Uh, you know those big fluffy hats that they sell? No. Alright, picture the uh, picture the cat in the hat hat. Only oh, it's yeah. white oh, and yeah, yeah. fluffy and looks really awesome. Uh, I bought one of those uh, one of those at the show and and this is when I was like uh, 14 and all of a sudden these dickheads who always gave me shit at stool they came up behind me took it and then ran off with it so I chase them all around the fucking show. Yeah, I, I swear, I, I was ready to kill the fucking bastards. I've had enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I cornered one of them, grabbed him off his shirt, and just like, man, give me the fucking hat. Mm. And then, and then he's just like, oh, I don't have it, I don't have it. And then, and then this, uh, this woman at the store is just like, uh, and she's just like, if you're going to have a fight, take it outside, take it away from here. And it's like, oh yeah, thanks for jumping in there, bitch. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, then, then I chased, I chased him down. Eventually, got the hat back. Yay! Although I couldn't wear it for the rest of the night because they were following me around. It was just like, oh god, these bastards won't let up. Um, yeah, the show's always been an interesting thing. Like, what me, what, what my system used to be was that I would take fifty bucks, I would run out of money, I would get a job, you know, doing some fucking stupid thing. They're like, you know, taking money, like counting a till. For another like for four hours, get another fifty bucks and spend it again. Yeah, the only thing is, you know, getting a job there would be really boring. Oh, it is really boring, but you know, you want to you spend most of your time there. Uh, you spend most of your time at the show doing the job, and you know, I just want to be able to do well, that. Well, we, we, like you, you can spend fifty bucks in like ten minutes, can't you? Yeah, <laughs> that'd be easy. So yeah, so you you know you go on like because the rides are expensive as shit. They're like fifteen bucks a ride, so you go on like. Four rides, 
running out of money, so it's like half an hour gone. Get a job for four hours, go another yeah, four really, hours. it depends on the ride. What rides do you usually go on? The Zipper. Zipper. That's like my yeah, favorite. It's ride. like eight dollars a ticket. It's not yeah, too bad. Yeah, I don't get the city. They don't know this shit. They're so yeah, they're Americans. Yeah, but their currency is completely different. Six dollars here is like uh, yeah, twenty bucks. Yeah, your ride is lower. <laughs> their currency is lower than ours. <laughs> I mean, I was, go to America and get like there's a saying if they're American you just go to America and be like I'm from Australia we're a rich country and just fuck shit up like knock over their bins and be like here's five nah, bucks just like I'm from Australia we got sexy accents come here ladies <laughs> come here ladies I don't know I, can't, I don't really see Australia I'll, really I'll give you an Australian kiss it's like a French kiss only down under <laughs> I haven't heard that in years. Oh, I think it's about time we go. Shane, this is just a oh. super short and sweet podcast. Number 31. Next, You'll join in next time. But we have been doing podcasts like for the last four days. We've done like three podcasts. So that's yeah. good. It's it's actually pretty impressive, really. Thank you, Shane. I've been no, you really need to get a job, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> insulting me now, guys. <laughs> I'm only joking, man. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay, Zach. Okay, you don't touch me. <laughs> don't touch me. You touched me, Khan. You touched me. Stop touching my dick. Stop touching my dick. <laughs> I wasn't touching your dick. You no, touched my dick. Don't lie. I'm touching my dick. Stop Khan. fucking touching my dick, mate. 